My name's Kenton, and tonight we're going to attempt a little bit of suggestion and imagination. You know, a long time ago in the 1800s, a gentleman named H.G. Wells wrote some novels. You've probably heard of a few of them. And one was called The Time Machine. What's not quite as well known is that in the first edition of The Time Machine, H.G. Wells wrote that the time machine was a metaphor and that we could go anywhere in our minds, anywhere at all, and literally travel through time. In fact, he believed that we could travel with our imagination and perhaps one day actually come back with physical proof. It was an interesting concept, and yet for some unknown reason, that preface has vanished from every edition thereafter. <laughs> so, I always thought it was an intriguing idea, and tonight I'd like to try a little experiment with someone from the audience traveling backwards in time, according to H.G. Wells. And uh, would you mind helping out? Give her a nice round of applause. Come on up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kenton. Your name is one, two, three. Now you can say your name. Alicia. Alicia, nice, nice to meet you. Um, I don't want you to go too far under into a trance yet. Okay. All right. Um, but I wanted to make sure you're with me and good. All right, good. Right there is perfect. Just relaxed enough. H.G. Wells lived in the 1800s, so I'd like you to think of a year sometime in the 1800s. Great. Not that I don't trust you, but because of what just happened, I'm afraid you might forget. So um, I have in here a, a coin, which we'll get to in a moment, and also a card. So would you please write down the time in the 1800s to which you like to travel? Don't let us see it quite yet. Good. And uh, if you'd be so kind, place it right back inside the envelope so we don't get to see it. But take, take your time. Would you like to seal the... Uh... Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Give it a good look there. All right, fair enough. Very nice. I'll take the pen back. That's how I get them. Good. Now, we have a coin from our time period, from America, and uh, from 1960-something there. But, of course, that has nothing to do with H.G. Wells, because he lived much earlier than that. I want you to place your hand out here. Hold on to the coin tightly. Do you have it tightly? If I hold it up this, we don't want you to drop it when you relax in a moment. Good. Look at me. Close your eyes. Relax. Relax. And imagine the year that you're going to travel to now. Relax deeper. And see in your mind a clock. See that clock spinning backwards, backwards, backwards in time. Backwards in time until you reach that time in the 1800s. You have it in your mind. Good. I want you to imagine you're on top of a grassy hill and you're going to walk down that grassy hill towards the pub. You hear the noise there and you can probably get a sense of coming near the pub. And As you get up to the pub, you push against the heavy door. Good, yes, it's heavy, that's right. And you go inside, you can hear the noise, you smell the smells, and uh, you notice that up at the bar, there's a bushy-faced gentleman and you realize that must be H.G. Wells. Now, we don't want you to see have him see you. So in your mind only, place the coin from our time period next to H.G. Wells on the bar. Good. And now uh, we don't want to steal from him, so we left him some money, but take a coin from his time period if you would. Good. Put it in your hand. Good. And quietly walk out the pub. Very nice. Yeah, the door slammed. That's right. And you walk up the grassy hill. Feel the air. It's getting a little lighter, lighter. Good, and now you're on top of the hill. Excellent. And now, in your mind, see the clock moving again, moving forward now, forward, forward to your time period, forward, and when you get back into your body, slowly open your eyes. Welcome back. Now, very, very carefully, open your hand. Hmm. It's no longer a half dollar, it is an English penny. <laughs> an English penny dated 1812. Is that the year you attempted to travel to, 1812? She did it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Whitman. Right away, very good. Give her a hand, won't you? 